Today we got something a little different, uh, quite a lot different actually. Um, this is an XNA final development kit that I ordered off Devil Dog on Seven Sins. And if you're interested in purchasing a console like I have, or even a slim development kit, then I highly suggest you head over on to Seven Sins, or head on over to Seven Sins and check out his thread, because he still has a bit of these left, if I'm not mistaken, and he has a couple of slim ones left as well. So anyway, um, this video we're just going to be going through the different apps that have been installed on here, but we're going to skip over the ones that uh, require um, extra steps or connect. But we'll definitely go over some one, or go over some of them, or at least we'll go over um, audio console, um, which is which incorporates itself with the X Act Three. Uh, part of the Microsoft Xbox 360 SDK, and you probably know what it is if you have an RGH, but if you got it, you want to go to your Program Files folder, Microsoft Xbox 360 SDK, bin, Win32, and you want to look for XACT3. And I'll quickly load up a song on here to show you how it works. So I'll go ahead and play this. I'll deploy this one. Okay, so I just ran uh, at Hell's Gate in the Mega Man X sound font, which I will, which I will uh, upload a cover of later. It's not even a cover, per se, but uh, which I will upload later. But for now, we'll move on to the next app. Avatar editor, it's the same one that you get on the retails. We'll check it out anyway. Nothing different here. No special development kit, hairstyles, or nothing. And I can't return to X Shell through here. Bah. So I'm going to reboot it through Neighborhood. So I'm back. And can't do avatar re retargeting, biometric sign up because of, or sign in because of a, the fact that I do not have a connect sensor with this thing anyway, or the adapter for it. And the default XEX is just a NAND flasher. I had it, I had dumped the NAND in case uh, something bad happened. 
to the console, which I highly doubt it will, but then again, these things um, are very dangerous in that sense, because you could easily mess it up if you don't know what you're doing. Depth map particle stream, that requires connect. But it's a really trippy effect if you could see it. Dolphin. Just the same old Dolphin app from the uh, original Xbox development kits, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, please correct me if it's uh, any different. If you guys have ever had any uh, Xbox debug kits or development kits or whatever that came with this app. Overall, though, it's a nice little screensaver. And as you saw on the little video with the Scorpio dev kits, uh, the new ones allow for more dolphins to be placed. Anyway. Bye, little dolphin. Filtering, that requires a connect sensor. HVX dump. I had to dump my KV and all that kind of stuff in CPU key, just in case, again, if something bad were to happen, because one of those files were missing or whatever. Heaven forbid why that would happen, but, um, you know, it's better safe than sorry. Also, I might poke around in them, see what they look like. Light shafts. Just a statue with a little camera, or light and being emitted to it. I don't know what the statue is supposed to be for, or which statue it is. If anyone knows, could someone shed some light on the subject? Alright, but you can increase the scope of the light, or you can lower it completely. Change the shadow, com shadow computations to render the shadow in different styles. And this basically tells you everything that you need to do. Or everything you want to do. Cycle spotlight cookie. Light frustrum. And atmospheric shaders. Not much more to see there. No, don't want to do that. I want to just return to X shell. Menu using handles that I believe requires connect. And you have you, yeah, the, all this stuff. Seam viewer doesn't. And you get to come to what looks like. A little village. The Lakota Coffee Festival. It's a pretty dev f festival and I don't see any coffee. And then there's a youth uh, resource center. Got a nice little scene. Dudley's. No, Doodley's restaurant. This is 1918. Not leisure. Heritage inventory clear out. Excellent prices. A little park right there, but that is just a little image being displayed. A vector two. Texture. No, that'd be a vector three. Um, just without anything behind it. No culling. Another youth resource center, but it's um backwards. Nice little set. Nice little FPS drop. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you can open up the menu here, which has the old Xbox logo on it. And you can toggle different settings. Remove the lighting, makes it look all bland and dull. Change the lighting rigs. 
change the intensity of the light. You can also change the range, all that stuff. I'm not going to mess with these things because I might crash it. I did record earlier, but I ended up crashing. Uh, this was the thing that did that. Not toggling that, but you could display lights. Or at least their frustrums. And the bounds. And the wireframes around that. Wireframe, you can have this thing look really trippy. Not gonna enable texture overriding because there's nothing to do it. Not gonna mess with these things, but uh I also don't know what some of them do, so I'm not going to mess with them too much. But, uh, yeah, the coffee festival that never was. It's a darn shame. No. Nope. We got um, Barnacle FD WLK2 Venom. I believe it's a b early build of a game or a console one or whatever. Unfortunately, I cannot open it because I do not have a connect sensor hooked up to the console. Skeleton tracking. UI auditioning, which would be partner with the SDK UI auditioning tool. Can't do much with it. But I guess I'll show you guys around. That does nothing if there's nothing being deployed. This I cannot open either because I need a connect sensor for it. But that's all the that rests as far as um, XEX and EXEs go. But tools, we got network settings. Game for configurations IPs, you can change all this stuff. change all this, except for the MAC address. But, uh, I can rename it if I want to. This is just for when you lock the console. Change the launcher language to Japanese. see it changing. Oh yeah, and that gets rid of the little info box at the side. We'll go to detailed again. You can enable or disable the hard drive. Same applies to the memory unit. Change the game region to any. This is like for deploying the games to the console or whatever region you want to spoof the console to be. You can change your video modes depending on your TV if it might support it or not. Screen format and this part is stuff that you can just edit regularly. Same with the digital audio output with digital stereo, Dolby Digital, and then WMA Pro. And then the RAM setting. 
but you could set to 512 or 1024. And the one gigabyte configuration is more for the debugging applications to allow them to run more better, I guess you could say. It allows you to kernel debug on the fly a lot easier. Basically, it allows for a, lot, a better performance of debugging applications, not the games, because the games only take up 512 megabytes, no more. I could dump the reporting settings, but I'm not going to. Xbox Live, um, more like partner net. I'm not going to test the connection or whatever, I'm not going to change the environments. Create a new profile. No, but I can make it Xbox Live enabled and give it gold and all that. Like that. I'm not going to create it because it's going to try testing a connection, but it won't go anywhere anyway. And this is the one that came with the console when I first got it last week. Or no, two weeks ago? No, ten days ago. Certification tools. I'm not going to mess with these. Well, title safe area, all that. Demo timeout. Hardware diagnostics. Runs a 15 minute diagnostic of all the hardware on the system to make sure everything's running A OK and then cleaning the hard drive. But I'm not going to wipe it because that'd be stupid. I understand uh, if you're selling development kits and you want to wipe the hard drives. But I, I, I wouldn't. That's just me, though. So yeah, that's uh, it for the development kit, I guess. Uh, if you got any questions, sound off in the comments below, and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. Uh, oh yeah, and the reason why I wasn't able to post a video on this sooner was uh, because I had my wisdom teeth removed, and I was swollen to all hell, and it was almost impossible for me to talk. Well, clearly that is. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing well now. And, I guess that's it. I might do a video featuring uh, different SDK tools and how to use them and all that. And, I might actually start using this to develop homebrew or uh, actual games for it. So if you have any comments or questions, please... Uh, Sound off in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please like it, and if you disliked it, please dislike it. And if you want to, you may subscribe. That's all. Thanks for watching.